in your definition, in your opinion, uh, who would be the worst sinner of all time? Who would be the worst sinner of all time? Whether in history or in contemporary, who would be the worst sinner of all time? 누가 지금까지 우리가 알고 있는 죄인 중에 가장 나쁜 죄인입니까? Hitler. 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 또. And that's it. He's the only guy that we kind of despise and oof. Who else? Anyone uh, dem- uh, Republicans here? <laughs> Because the Turk, uh, Turk Church? No. Uh, Waterbury Church. Someone said Donald Trump. And I said, oh no! <laughs> I didn't say that, okay? I didn't say. She said. <laughs> Casually and plainly, nothing happening around kind of tones at Donald Trump. And I said, okay, we're not supposed to talk politics in church, but I didn't say, you said it, so, and I'm saying it here, just quoting her. Anyone else? 다른 사람 있어요? 아주 그냥 못돼 먹은 죄인. 뭐 히스토리도 그렇고 지금 현현 현 우리 주변을 봤을 때 Who would that be? The worst sinner Other than Hitler I'm not quite sure about I'm not Well, I shouldn't say But I'm not sure about Donald Trump But yeah I, I can see that But um, anyone else? Bin Laden Bin Laden, okay Okay. Judah. <laughs> Judah. Judas. Saddam Hussein. Okay. Okay. I, we don't hear yet saying, I'm the worst sinner. Okay. Now, Does this worst sinner of all time deserve God's forgiveness? In other words, God would forgive someone like Hitler. 여러분, 히틀러 같은 사람도 하나님이 용서하실까요? 여러분 생각은 어떻습니까? What do you think? Someone like Hitler. Someone like Bin Laden. God will forgive them for their sins, for their wrongs. What do you think? What was it? If they repent. If they repent. Okay. 회개하면 하나님 용서해 주실 것이다. What about the thief? Right next to Jesus. Not the one that, um, you know, oh Lord, remember me when you get to paradise. No, not that one. We know that guy was saved at the last minute. But the other guy, on the other side of the cross of Jesus, that thief, did what? He cursed at Jesus. He denied his last minute opportunity did he deserve God's forgiveness as well yeah do they deserve God's forgiveness as long as well as long as we repent right if as long as they repent they deserve God's forgiveness That's how, I, that's how we think that God would do for us. As long as we come before God and ask for God's forgiveness, then God would give us God's forgiveness. 우리가 하나님 앞에 회개하기만 하면 하나님이 용서해 주실 것이다. 그 어떠한 
죄도 하나님 용서해 주실 것이다. 우리 그렇게 생각을 해요. 조건이 붙습니다. 회개한다면. So if and when we repent of our sins. 하나님 How that happened? Because he asked for forgiveness. 지금 이 돌아온 탕자가 아버지에게 내가 하나님 앞에 그리고 아버지 앞에 죄를 범했으니 용서해 주십시오. 용서받을 자격이 없지만 그나마 용서하신다면 나를 일꾼으로 받아주시기를 원합니다. 그랬을 때 아버지가 어떻게 합니까? 이 아버지가 일꾼으로 고용하는 게 아니라 다시 아들의 삶을 되돌려 줍니다. Here's the problem. Back then in those days second son has no right. No entitlement. Nothing to expect of. second son or you know whoever follows the elder son okay they are at the hand of elder son's mercy after their you know the father passed away it's up to him to share and how much to share too but in this case this younger son younger brother asked for While his father is living, his inheritance, I want my share. 저 아버지가 아직 살아 있는데 유산 달라고 조르는 거예요. 이 둘째 아들이. 그 당시 법은 그 관습은 어떠냐면 첫째 아들이 모든 권한을 가져요. 그래서 아버지가 돌아가시면 첫째 아들이 아, 넌 얼마 가지고 넌 얼마 가지고 이렇게 해자. 하는 게 커스텀이에요. 그게 관습이에요. He ran away with all he had. He used up, wasted up, and came back. And God, you know, here, Father, forgives him and accepts him and welcomes him back. Because, you know, what they do is once you do that, Once you ask such a thing, then the father, the first thing, and usually the first thing and only thing they do for their son is to disavow sonship, disavow the relationship. You are no longer my son. You are no longer my son. It, it's not just a saying you're not related no more. He's officially cut off from the family. Then the whole community behind the family saying, Oh, you are cut off from your own family, and so you are no longer part of this community, and you have to leave this community. In other words, that is death sentence. But father didn't do it. 
He could have done it, but he didn't do it. And yet he gave his share of inheritance, even though he doesn't deserve, he gave it. He didn't mind at all when he left with all that inheritance. He didn't mind. He didn't make, make him stop. He wasted and came back and asked for forgiveness and now accept him, restore him. Is it the same story like we have? As long as we repent, as long as we confess, God forgives? 우리가 회개하기만 하면, 우리가 용서를 구하기만 하면 하나님이 용서를 주시는 분이다. 우리가 그렇게 이해를 다 하고 있어요. 근데 이게 과연 우리가 갖고 있는 이게 과연 하나님을 향한 이해가 맞는 이해인가? 하나님이 우리를 향한 그 마음을 우리가 제대로 이해하고 있는가? 제가 왜이 이야기를 하냐면 하나님이 처음부터 너는 내 아들이 아니다 라고 할 수도 있었는데 그러지 않았다는 거예요. 그러지 않고 그에게 계속해서 기회를 남겨둔 거예요. 여지를 남겨둔 거예요. 계속해서. 돌아올 수 있는 여지를. 그 말은 무슨 말입니까? 하나님의 사랑은, 하나님의 용서는 진작에부터 먼저 있었다는 거예요. 우리가 바라고, 원하고, 회개하고, 고백하기도 전에 부터 먼저, 그 오래 전부터 하나님의 용서는 이루어지고 있었다는 얘기예요. 하나님 didn't do what he was supposed to do as usually, you know, they do it like cut, cutting off, cutting him off from the family. He didn't do it, but he left the door open for him from the beginning. Every step of the way, he left the door open for this prodigal son to take the money and run away with it and spend it all and coming back with empty-handed, still, God was leaving the door open for this prodigal son to come back. In other words, God was already forgiving his sins even before he recognized and even before he hit the road and even before he came back with empty-handed, recognizing, yes, I've done bad. And I've done so, so much wrong. I've sinned against God and against you. Even before he came up with that revelation, understanding, God was already forgiving. So even before you ask for God's forgiveness, God is already Prepare to give you God's forgiveness. 우리가 기도하고 바라고 요구하고 간구하기도 전에 하나님은 용서하기를 준비하시는 분인 거예요. 우리가 회개합니다 해서 용서하시는 게 아니라 회개하기도 전부터 하나님은 용서하기를 원하시는 분이에요. 그래서 왜 이런 하나님일까 우리가? Why does God do this? Why God is doing way before we even ask for God's forgiveness, God is already forgiving. Why? Why do you think God is doing that? Why do you think God is already forgiving? And even those who don't deserve God's forgiveness, God's forgiveness, God is ready to forgive them. God is leaving the door open for them to come back. Why is that? What for? 왜 하나님이 그렇게 용서하시기를 주저하지 않으실까? 용서하기를 즐겨하실까? 
왜 용서하기를 그렇게 원하실까? 하나님이 얼마나 원하셨으면 용서하기를 원하셨으면 예수님을 이 땅에 보내셨을까? God so loved the world. In other words, God so wanted to forgive so much so that God sent Jesus Christ for this world. So love can be translated into forgive. 하나님이 이 세상을 이토록 사랑하사 그 사랑은 바로 하나님의 용서인 겁니다. 하나님이 그토록 용서하기를 원하시기 때문에 예수님을 보내신 거예요. God so one is so bad to give us forgiveness. God sent Jesus Christ for our sake. You see that? God is already doing it. God is readily available to give us forgiveness. Anytime, anywhere. God doesn't say, you are done. I no longer claim you to be my own. No, God doesn't do that. God is not that narrow-minded, close-minded. God's heart is much bigger than what we can handle. Hananimaumun,我们要服务于你们的妈妈。Hananimaumun,我们要服务于你们的妈妈。Hananimaumun,我们要服务于你们的妈妈。Hananimaumun,我们要服务于你们的妈妈。Hananimaumun,我们要服
That is why Jesus is the way, the truth, and and the third one, 길이요, 진리요, 생명이니, life. That is why. You know, in self-help books, okay, in psychology or self-help books or, uh, you know, in those area, genres, um, you probably hear this. Forgive so you could live. If you hold on to your, you know, anger and hatred, it only hurts you, it only damages you. That's not the gospel. We know. Yeah, that's true. That's how things work. But for God, it's not. It's not how it is with God. God even forgives those who even offended God. For what? For our life. For the purpose of what? Why, why God gives us life? Why God gives us life-giving resources? 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 Why God Why does God want to give us life today and tomorrow? And the life in the world to come. Why? Because he's the one who created us. Right? Because he's the one who created us. And because he's the one who loves us. That is why God wants to give us life. That is why God wants to give us forgiveness. Even before we ask for. Even for those who don't even deserve. It's up to God to forgive. Okay? It's not up to us. That's for sure. But one thing for sure we hear from the prodigal son's story is God forgives even those who don't even deserve. Jesus is saying to this story to the Pharisees and scribes because to them this is the worst case of scenario. To them. To the Pharisees and Jews and uh, scribes, this is the worst sinner of all time. And yet God was ready to forgive even before the prodigal son asked for. We read it. The father who recognized his son far away coming back home, he came out and greeted him. You know, why, why is that came into the picture? Why is that? That's why God is readily to give us God's forgiveness. That is why. So we give thanks God, to God. We, we give praise to God. That is why we believe in God. That is why we worship God. That is why we praise to God. That is why we turn to God when we are in trouble. When we feel like defeated, failure, whatever we go through in life, we turn to God because that's who God is. That's what God is all about. That much God loves us. 그렇게 우리를 하나님이 사랑하신다는 거. 그래서 우리가 하나님을 찾는 겁니다. 그래서 우리가 하나님 예배하는 것이고, 그래서 우리가 하나님을 찬양하는 것이고, 그래서 하나님 앞에 우리가 엎드리는 것이고, 그래서 우리가 하나님 앞에 우리의 삶을 인도해 달라는 간구를 하는 겁니다. 하나님이 그렇게 우리를 사랑하시니까. Let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks for your forgiveness. 
we don't deserve your forgiveness. We know, we, we think, some of the people who, they don't deserve your forgiveness. They don't deserve our forgiveness either. But that's our understanding. That's where we are. And yet you forgive even those who offended you, even those who nailed you to the cross, cursed you on the cross. Even for them, you offered them your forgiveness. They didn't deserve, and yet you forgave them. They didn't deserve, but you still loved them. That love, that grace, that mercy are also for us through Christ. So we are so thankful. And help us, Lord, not only to just enjoy your blessings and graces. Help us, Lord, to be able to give those blessings and graces to those who may need come to know you. For you are the Lord, for you are the Savior. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.